welcome Christina Ricci. <laughs> You look amazing. Thank you. That's an that's an insane dress. Look at that. That's great. Uh, it's kind of fun, huh? Yeah, yeah. I class it up a little since you class it up on this show. Yeah, this is the show to class it up for. It. What a huge <laughs> waste. I better class it up for Conan. Ah, boobang. That's what we do here. That's that's just who we are. Uh, now you're doing. Did I just, I just mentioned you're doing Joey tomorrow night. You're you've done it already, but yeah. it's airing tomorrow. Tomorrow night. Are you a fan of that show, Joey? Um, I have been a Joey Tribbiani fan for a long time. See, that's very common. I think a lot of sitcom actors, they've had success. People want them to stay in that role. Do yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, and I'm an actor, too, so I generally understand that, but not with Joey Tribbiani. No. Right, right. Ooh. So did, was he bothered by that? Was he irritated? Was he no. like, I am not Joey Tribbiani, I am Matt LeBlanc. I mean, no, he's fantastic. And I was trying to not act like such a dork mm -hmm. around him right? and um, not, bring, not really bring it up. Right. But uh, I finally had to tell him that um, me and my sister, we went through this phase, kind of a loserish phase, when we were staying at home and just watching TV together all the time. Right. And we both decided that we loved Joey so much, we wanted to make um, Joey t-shirts with his face and a heart on the front and on the back. I hope you were very, very young when this was happening. <laughs> no, and on the back it would say, how you doing? And we were like, that's going to sell. <laughs> or something else, like, or I like sandwiches. Right, right. You know, right, things like right. that. And so I finally, I told him, and, he, and, and I ended with the I like sandwiches. And he was like, he's like, yeah, you remember that one with Mike Rappaport where I'm in the back and Chandler thinks I dive to save Ross because we hear gunfire, but actually I'm just going for my sandwich? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, that was a funny one. That was a good one, huh? And I was like, yeah, that was a great episode. See, I don't like him getting into it. That seems I weird. Know. He's like, hey, remember the time? <laughs> no, I like him getting into it, though, because then you don't feel like such a loser for right. being so involved. Right, right. No, I'm sure he was really happy with it, you know? I was just happy with the whole thing. I was that way about Alex Trebek. I had t-shirts made. Really? Followed him around for a while, and then I was asked to stop. Mm -hmm. Now, you just, is this right? You just turned 25. This makes me feel yeah. old because when you did, I think the first Adams Family film, you came on our show, I think this was 1993. Yeah. You were a little kid. I was 13. Yeah. Well, maybe I was 14 when I yeah. came out. Yeah. Basically, I'm 68 years old, <laughs> is what I'm trying to tell you. You just turned, now, you just turned 25, but it's funny, because even as a little kid, I remember the first time you were on, you've always seemed older, like wise beyond your, your, your years. Uh, Is that true? No. No? No, I think, oh, me, uh, my boyfriend and I decided that if anyone's a big X-Files fan, they'll right. understand this, right. that I'm a, I'm, I'm a um, hybrid. I'm a genetically engineered hybrid by the government. See, I've, you've lost me. That's why I look like this. Right, There's right. a whole theme in the X Files where where the, one of the th one of the horrible things the government's doing is genetically engineering half human, half alien babies. Right, right. It's got to be me, right? That's not the first thing I would think when I saw you. I almost led with that question in the interview. Christina, you're half human, right, and half alien. But no, people get mad when I do that. But that's yeah. what we decided, and I think that's why everyone always thought I was an old soul, because I was really half alien. Right. Do you worry like a lot of actors about getting older, or do you, you're not worried about it? No, not really. I mean, I'm really excited to get older. Um, everyone always says, like, past 30 when you're a woman, the more confident you get. Right. And I really, really can't wait to be, like, 76. And I'll have shrunk to, like, 4'8", four, 4'7". Four, right. I'm, I'm You'll only... be in constant pain. Yeah. <laughs> I'm only five feet now. No bladder control. Yeah. <laughs> High five. But no one will care because you're old. So you right, can... right. Pee anywhere you want oh my to. God. I'll, be, I'll be drinking constantly and really mean. This, see, the one thing, a great thing about getting uh, really old, I think, is that no one can say anything no, to you. No. you. Really old people can get away with murder. Yeah. They yeah. can smash stuff, and then if you say anything, they're like, I'm old! Anytime I want to do something really bad, I always tell myself, Wait till, wait till you're 76. Right, better yet, 98. No, but you might not live that long. Oh, I'm going that long. Yeah. I've got a plan. Uh, you know, we, um, we have a clip here from your movie, but I want to talk about it first, okay. Cursed, all right? What do we need to know about this film? To pre you know, like, tell us basically what's going on. Well, um, uh, my character uh, and her little brother, she used to move back in to take care of her little brother because their parents die in a car accident. Right. And so when the movie opens, uh, he and I are in a car accident um, on Mulholland in Los Angeles and with Shannon Elizabeth and there's a huge crash and it's really horrible and um, 
while we're trying to get her out of the car and everything, something attacks us. And day, the days following, we sort of start to feel weird things. And right. We're changing a little bit. Our bodies are changing, but it's not puberty. And um, I'm still waiting on puberty, by the way. <laughs> but and uh, we just and we start to be cursed. Okay, let's take a look at this clip from Cursed. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. What are you doing here? I just, I feel so terrible about how we left things tonight. Jake, what's going on? I'm scared, Ellie. Jake, you're the only good thing that's happened in my life in a long time. I'm scared, too. All the good things keep going away. Well, I'm not going anywhere. They do that on soap operas a lot. Like the the person reveals that he's evil over the shoulder of the other person. You ever seen that? Where yeah. someone's like, "I love you, I love you too, I'll always love you, and I'll always love you," and then he hugs, and then over her shoulder goes. <laughs> yeah, or you usually have to pay extra for that. Yeah, yeah. Oh well. <laughs> wow. uh, <laughs> me likey. Cursed opens on Friday, and you're on Joey tomorrow night mm -hmm. at eight on NBC. Thanks yes. a lot for stopping by. Always Thank nice you. to see you. Yeah, Christina.